Okay, so here we are in Ubuntu. Uh, whether you've got it natively installed or installed in VirtualBox, it shouldn't really matter. Whether you're on PC or Mac, it shouldn't really matter. All we need to do now is install CodeLight. So if I click on Show Applications, it should be a bit faster on yours. It's because I've got the video recording software running at the same time. And we need to run an application called Terminal. So I'm just typing terminal up at the top and you can see there is my terminal. Now terminal is a command line, a bit like command prompt in Windows. And this is what's going to let us install code light. So to install code light, I'm going to be using a command called apt, that is apt. But to actually install something on the system, I need to be a super user. So first of all, I type in sudo super user do and that gives me permission to install things and then I can run the command afterwards. So I'm going to say apt install and I'm going to need two packages. I'm going to need code light and I'm also going to need um, a utility called make and what sudo sorry what apt will do is we will go first of all ask my password so that's your just your normal password and it will go and find all of the different packages that depend upon code light so here it goes it goes off onto the internet it finds the packages and it says I also need G++ now yours might also uh, ask for some things can you see here it says it says code light plugins is suggested so maybe we want to install that afterwards as well so I'm gonna say yes and it will install those things it will just download them install them and set them up here we go and i'm just going to press the up key to get my command line back that i had previously and i'm going to install plugins uh, as well it does help if you spell it correctly so now it's installing the code like plugins and oh there's all sorts of extra things I need to install for that so it will then install that through it doesn't take very long and it sorts out all of the details for you and after we've done this it should just work so just to review you need to install both code like and also code light and also the package make so now it's all installed so I can type in code light here just on the terminal and you can open up a new terminal type code light at any time and it will load in code light and it will come up just like on windows it's got this little splash screen that it starts with which will come up here and then it will load code light itself here we are so i'm going to say let's have a new workspace just as I did, oh, I already had a workspace on this machine before, that's why. Uh, but you could do workspace just the same as Windows. One last thing I su suggest on Linux, what you want to do is you need to go to Preferences up here and just change one little setting, which is under Terminal, and you want to use Code Lite's built-in terminal. That means that it will pop up the window when you run the program in front in front of code light rather than behind it. So now if I want to, I can build and run. And it will show me there is my program. And actually, if I have a look in the build log, you can see that it's uh, made a success of building it. So that is how to get Code Lite up and running on a Linux-based system or on a Linux-based system inside VirtualBox.